Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it's another what I eat in a day. I'm so excited to share all of my delicious food throughout today as well as a really, really good dinner recipe that is summer vibes, that is barbecue, cookout vibes. I'm so excited for it. So if you're excited for a what I eat in a day, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you are new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. It's just a great way to know where you should fall every day to be successful successful on whatever goals that you have. If you want to chat with me directly, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions as well. Links, discounts to everything I share with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. We're about to start our huge three-month summer challenge, and we'd love to have you take part in that, are all down in that description box. So let's jump into a What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW. All right, it's time to go potty, everyone. Hi, buddy. Oh, you got your stick. Okay, come on. Let's go potty. Come on, Lola. Come on, let's go. Oh, Palmer's excited to show you his stick, bud. I decided to go ahead and have the nut pods. This is the cotton candy creamer in my coffee this morning. I showed this in a previous What I Eat a Day and got a lot of questions on whether or not I like it. Yes, I like it. It's really good. It definitely tastes like cotton candy. It is not sweet. So I generally will add a little bit of monk fruit or something to my coffee just because I like my coffee a little sweeter but it's really delicious. Nut Pods is a great alternative if you don't like your coffee sweet, but you still want a little bit of flavor. I just purchased it off of Amazon, so I'll link it down below. I'm so excited for my breakfast this morning. I know I'm going to get some questions on my plates. I actually found these at TJ Maxx for these wooden plates for $19.99. I love them, they're gorgeous. You do have to hand wash them, not a problem for me, but I decided to go ahead and make myself some avocado toast this morning. So I have one slice of Texas toast bread for three points, three points worth of avocado, and then one egg on top. And then I had a really delicious, juicy, ripe mango from Imperfect Foods that I wanted to eat up. So I decided to have some mango. I am working on glass number two of my water. So my breakfast is three points for the bread, three points for the avocado, zero for the egg, zero for the mango, Six I just finished eating my breakfast and it's time for me to take my supplements for the day. So I thought that I would share with you what supplements I take. I do take a gummy multivitamin in the morning as well as a gummy hair, skin, and nail vitamin. And then generally after I eat my breakfast, I take my other two supplements. And I thought this would be a really good time to give you guys an update of what's going on and an update as to why I'm continuing to film on my phone, not my new camera. So the first supplement that I take immediately after breakfast, it is to be taken after you've eaten for the morning or after you've eaten a meal, are my custom probiotics from Thrive. Now, a lot of you have already had your gut health test done. They are still offering 50% off with the link down in the description box of your gut health test. Now, you know if your gut health is out of whack, then the majority of your health can be out of whack. It can prevent you from losing weight, it can cause a lot of health issues and just day-to-day -day overall how you feel issues. So it's really important to have your gut health in check. And with the Thrive Gut Health Test, they test your gut health and then give you a personalized to you probiotic. Both Troy and I take ours. I am on my second three-month supply. He's just finishing up his first three-month supply. We will forever, ever use the Thrive Custom Probiotics 
it's been a complete game changer for my health and for his health, especially with all the medical issues he suffers with. This has been a big game changer. So I will link the gut health test down below again with 50% off for you guys. I take two of my custom probiotics every day. The other daily supplement that I take is the My Adventure to Fit Greens. Now, I eat a lot of greens, but there are days that I don't get in as many as I maybe want to. So this is a good greens supplement. You can add this to a smoothie, mix it with water, or what I do is I just dry scoop this. I just put it in my mouth with a little bit of water and swallow banana apple flavor, and it's really good. It's sour. It's like sour candy. So I'll show you how I take my greens, and I'll link this down below. This is the same company that I actually take their pre-workout as well, and I do have 10% off through through my adventure to fit, which is a small business. So it's nice to be able to support a small business and get some really great products. So here is what it looks like. And what I do is just put a little water in my mouth, add in the greens, a little more water, swish, swallow. So those are my additional couple of supplements that I take every single day. Now let's chat about this whole technology situation. It's been a struggle for me the last few months with my computer dying, having to buy a new computer, getting used to a Mac, then realizing that it's time to upgrade my camera, which came at a perfect time because my old vlogging camera that I've had just over two years has stopped working. I've reached out to a camera repair place to see if it would be beneficial to repair it. It wasn't a very expensive camera, so we'll have to see what that comes in as cost-wise. So I did go ahead and purchase, like I shared with you guys, a new very high-end, very expensive camera, the Canon 90D. And I decided to go with one of the lenses that I've seen a lot of YouTubers use because it lets in a lot of light. It's nice and clear. It blurs the background. And that is the Sigma 18 35 millimeter lens. It was about $700 for the lens. So I get it in. I'm so excited. I actually filmed some videos last week with the new camera and lens, and then when I went to start vlogging with the camera and filming meal prep where I'm pretty close to what I'm filming, I just realized that it was really heavy and bulky. In my grocery haul, I said that it was really hard to hold it still because it's so heavy. The lens was quite long off the front of the camera, so it just is great for sit down videos, but it's not conducive for vlogging, meal prepping, grocery hauls. So I decided to go ahead and exchange that lens. So I reached out to the company that I bought it from and ordered a smaller lens that was recommended in a Canon Facebook group specifically for YouTube and for vlogging. It's great for sit downs. It's great for grocery hauls, vlogging, and it was really affordable. It was less than $200 for the lens. So I exchanged the Sigma lens, ordered this Canon lens. And in the meantime, I went ahead and ordered an additional lens off of Amazon. It was a 50 millimeter lens. I thought that I would get this sooner because it's Amazon and it would be nice to have this 50 millimeter for sit down videos just because it lets in more light than the one I exchanged the big Sigma lens for. So I get it and realize that it's literally right here in my face when I'm filming and I have to sit at least six to seven feet away from my camera for sit down videos, which just doesn't work for me. I don't have the space in my office slash filming room to do that. So I decided that that lens wasn't going to work. It's sitting on my table able to return to Amazon. So here I am again, no lens. So I'm having to use my phone. My lens is supposed to come today that I exchanged the Sigma for. It's Monday that I'm filming. So it's supposed to be coming today. So fingers crossed. So my meal prep and this video were filmed on my phone. I hate filming on my phone. I don't think the quality is very good. It's generally pretty washed out. So I want to kind of give you guys an update on that. Let you know that hopefully, hopefully this new lens is everything I need and I'll be able to get back to using my new camera because I love it. I love the quality. It's just been a struggle finding the right lens that works for what I need the lens for. So that's the camera update. That's the camera debacle. Also, a couple of dog updates. Palmer just got his last set of shots and now he is on the waiting list basically to get neutered when he gets closer to seven or eight months old. They want him to be fully grown before they neuter him because it can cause him to not grow and fill out the way that he should being a French bulldog. Lola went to the vet for an exam and she actually had a little bit of an ear infection and she has a infection in her nostril like right here in her nose. So she was prescribed a steroid cream as well as 
some cream to go in her ear. And then Diesel goes to see the surgeon this Thursday, June 10th. So we'll know more about his torn ACL. It's been a lot of visits. I'm going to flip you guys around and show you my cabinet full of medicine for the dogs, not to mention all the medicine Troy takes. So that's basically all of the updates. So let's get back into the what I eat in a day. So these are the dog medicines. All of these right here, Lola, Lola, Diesel, 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 Diesel. So lots of dog medicine in my cabinet. This is actually Diesel's for when he gets an ear infection as well. But I feel like we have a little mini dog pharmacy going on. So here is my morning snack. I'm not super hungry, but I want a little something to tide me over until lunch. So I'm actually going to have one of my Verb Energy Bars. You guys know I love these. I'm cleaning the house, doing laundry, watching the dogs. So I need all the energy that I can get. And each one of these little bars has 90 calories, only three points, but also contains 65 milligrams of caffeine from green tea. So it's a nice clean caffeine. So it gives you that little boost of energy. It's about this, it's the same amount of caffeine as what you would get in a shot of espresso. So I'm going to have that for three points. And then I'm also going to have kombucha as always. WW counts this as three points. I count this as one point because it's anywhere from 50 to 60 calories. So one point for my kombucha, three for my Verb Energy Bar. This is my four Smart Point snack. And you can pick up Verb Energy, the trial pack, which is this one here where you get 12 bars. And then they actually throw in some extra free bars, four or five for you. So you can try some other flavors for half off. So I'll link that down below for you guys. Mm. Here's what it looks like. It's so good. We're now outside. It's a really nice day. It's windy, but it's a nice temperature out here. Lola, are you and your brother going to play, babe? Come here. Hi, honey. Oh, hi, squirt. Oh, you want up here by mommy? Okay. Okay, you come up here. Come here, limpy. Come here, my little limper. Poor Diesel. Like I said earlier, we'll know more this coming Thursday. So he's still limping and won't put really any weight. I will say that he does act normal for the most part. He runs and plays just like normal. And this is currently happening. He wants her to get down. Do you want her to come down? Yeah, you want her to come down and play with you, don't you, buddy? Tell her, say, come down and play with me, sissy. So here's my lunch for today. It's a bit of a hodgepodge, but it all sounds really good. So I'm having some watermelon. That watermelon I picked up at Costco is perfection. It is so ripe and juicy. And then this is the devil's food egg salad that I made in my meal prep on Monday. It's so good. Troy and I love it. Highly recommend adding some salt and pepper to it just for a little extra flavor, but it's so good and it's so, so low point using the fiber gourmet pasta. And then a yogurt. A yogurt just sounds really good. This is the Madagascar vanilla and cinnamon. I really like this one. So I will put points, calories here on the screen, but this is today's lunch. Look what time it is in Perfect Foods. I haven't filmed one of my little hauls for a while. They've been coming at odd times, but I'm excited to show you what I picked up from Imperfect Foods. Definitely check them out if they're in your area. I'll link them down below with $20 worth of free groceries. No minimum order required. So you can order your $20, pay the small shipping fee, and get some free groceries. So Imperfect Foods helps eliminate food waste. I love them. Every time I get a box, I find new food finds, and everything is so fresh and delicious. So let's take a quick peek at what I received this time. Again, I am so excited. The first thing I picked up is a pound of organic strawberries. I find that their organic fruit is less expensive than the grocery store. I mean, I look at these strawberries. They're gorgeous. I also picked up two packages of organic blackberries. Again, the price is just so affordable. You can see some rhubarb here. I love rhubarb. I made a really good strawberry rhubarb crisp for a little barbecue that we had with some friends for Memorial Day. So good. I am obsessed with rhubarb. You can see I ordered quite a bit, I think two pounds. So I'm going to make another strawberry rhubarb dessert. Yes, look at all that rhubarb. I also ordered some more organic mint for my water. You guys know that I've been loving putting mint in my water. I tried to buy a plant on my Walmart order so that I could try to grow mint at home. And of course it was out of stock. So I added this to my Imperfect Foods order. Two cans of the Ginger Better Booch. I really like this one. I actually like both the flavors of Better Booch, but I love ginger, so this one is one of my favorites. They also have non-food items, and this avocado and honey body butter is amazing. I mean, it is one of the best body butters. So, so good. 
And then I did order a couple of pounds of organic potatoes. So they're usually just loose in the box. So there are my potatoes. Also a mango. I've been loving having mangoes. I ate that entire big box that I purchased from Costco last month. Some organic yellow squash. We like to roast this up and have it as a veggie side for dinner. And there's an ice pack underneath everything as well. So this is a repurchase for me, these broccoli and Parmesan egg bites. These are delicious. They come in really handy for a quick, easy breakfast. They're only 60 calories a piece and have eight grams of protein. I also wanted to get some creamy spinach Alfredo from Sonoma Gourmet. I picked up this brand from Costco. This is such a great, nice, clean ingredient brand. So I thought that we could have this over pasta one night. A salad kit because we like having salad kits again. Just super quick, easy weeknight sides. These are repurchased too. These Good Foods Avocado Mash. These are really good. This is some of the best prepared guacamole that I've ever had. This is not a bad price at all either for four of the packages. They only have 90 calories per entire container. And lastly, also from Good Foods, one of my favorite nice clean brands, I picked up the spinach, spinach artichoke parmesan dip. Oh my gosh. I hope this is as good as the one that I buy from Costco. They didn't have it at Costco. So when I saw this on the list for Imperfect Foods, of course I had to pick it up. So that is everything from this Imperfect Foods haul. I generally order from Imperfect Foods every two weeks. I usually stock up on produce and then a few of my non-produce things. Like I said, it's a great way to discover new foods at really affordable prices. So again, they're linked down below with free groceries. I just came out from cleaning the bathroom and look at these two. <laughs> Sharon the dog bed, he has a stick of course. They are literally best friends. This is going to be my afternoon snack. I'm about to make my bed, unload the dishwasher, and I don't want something too heavy because we're gonna be eating here in a couple hours. I'm having the churro marshmallow built puff. These are no, these are currently not available, the Built Puffs. Now, Built Bars are available. I'll link them down below with 10% off and free shipping. Save the code because it is good forever and ever on every order you place. They will be bringing back some flavors of Puffs, so stay tuned. But this is only three points. I like it. It has a really marshmallow texture in the middle, and you can't beat it for three points. Kind of satisfies the sweet tooth, and this one has 17 grams of protein. For dinner tonight, we're having chili coney dogs, and then I'll probably throw some veggies in the microwave. So for the recipe, you're going to need some hot dog buns and some hot dogs. I decided to get these Nathan bun length dogs. These were actually lower points than the traditional size of hot dogs, and I didn't want something full of artificial everything, so I picked those up. And then garlic powder, minced onion, chili powder, and then it also called for ground mustard, which I don't have. And then a can of tomato sauce, Worcestershire sauce, a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, and some salt and pepper. So the first thing you're going to do is add your pound of ground beef to a skillet. Go ahead and brown that all the way through about six to eight minutes. I'm also going to toss my hot dogs into a skillet here to cook those up right alongside the ground beef. Once your hamburger is browned, we are going to add in our can of tomato sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, minced onion, garlic powder, chili powder, salt, and pepper. Stir that together and we're going to let this simmer over medium heat until our hot dogs are completely done. That way all those flavors can meld together. I also added in one half of a cup of water. You kind of want to thin that out as it's simmering on the stove and our hot dogs are coming along nicely. I'm going to throw this bag of California blend veggies in the microwave. Our coney dogs are just about ready. This is good to go. Our hot dogs are cooked, so I'm going to assemble my plate. I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, so here is my dinner. I feel like I'm at Coney Island. So I have some of the veggies, of course, zero points. It is one point for the chili mixture that I added to my hot dog. My hot dog is four points, my bun is three points, and my cheese is one point. So my entire dinner is nine smart points. Very excited for this. Like I said, I feel like I'm at Coney Island and then I'm still working on my gallon of water. I am just about done. It is 5, 12 p.m. This is what I'm going to have for dessert. These are the lower sugar yogurt covered mixed berry Cleo bars. These are so good. I picked these up at Costco. It comes with the mixed berry 
with yogurt coating and the peach with chocolate coating. They're both amazing. They're 100 calories and three smart points a piece. I'll open it up so you can see what the yogurt coated ones look like if you haven't seen them. Here's what they look like. You can see they have the white yogurt coating and then there is the center. They're so good. So this is my three smart point dessert. joining me on another what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all my food, that really good, easy dinner recipe. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do what I eat in a day every single Wednesday. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join our big summer challenge. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you next time. Bye.